right, man, got some breaking news coming in. Carlos Beltran has stepped down as the manager of the New York Mets before beginning his first season. He just signed a three-year contract with a fourth-year option on there. And due to the cheating scandal that happened with the Houston Astros, um, he's stepping down as manager. But let's talk about it. We back. Good for the Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And um, it's not surprising. He was the only player named. And one of the reasons that they didn't go after players. And basically, he was a, a huge, integral part of the cheating scandal with Alex Cora. All right. Uh, Alex Cora has stepped down as the Boston Red Sox manager. And, um, you know, they also investigating the championship they won a few years ago. So, Carlos Beltran was getting his first crack at being the Mets manager this year. And he didn't even get to manage spring baseball yet, you know. And he stepped it down so the Mets got to find a manager before spring ball start. I don't know if they look to promote within or they going to look at other candidates out there. But with him being the only player named in the uh, the investigation, that leads to believe that he's going to face some punishment. And the, re the reason why the other players wasn't named is because the Major League Baseball uh, Players Union is strong and the union was going to tie it up for years and it just would have been a, a, a big, big issue. And then if you go after the players, and then it's, it's almost like you got to, you know, strip the Astros of their championship. And if you strip the Astros of their championship <laughs> and then do your award to the Dodgers, and then what do you do about some of the, the other baseball players that's cheated that was on steroids, and then they're going to want some of their records stripped and tear down, tore down. So at some point, you do have to have a limit or you have to have, you know, a stopping point of, of this. But they say he was a huge integral part, no longer a player. He's a manager now, being his first year. And, you know, they probably he probably going to get some type of suspension. Now, Alex Cora, the rest, former Red Sox manager, former Astro bench coach when all this was going down, I heard he's going to get the stiffest penalty. All right. I, I don't know if it's going to be a whole bunch of millions fine. He's going to be banned from baseball. He's going to be off of baseball for two or three years for being the mastermind. Now, if you don't know what happened when the Astros was at home, they used the replay room to steal signs. All right. But then again, also, they told Major League Baseball, told people, told other people they better not complain or they get a harsher penalty. And that takes us back kind of to what I just said, is that once you dig too deep, you open Pandora's box and you think the Astros was the only team out there cheating? No. It was a lot of other teams out there cheating as well, too. So they kind of want to nip this in the bud, set example. So if you are out there cheating, A, you stop it now because the penalties is going to be harsher. Because there was some things going on with the air, with the uh, the St. Louis Cardinals that they swept under the rug. And I guess the investigation didn't find much. So when they didn't nip that in the bud or they swept that under the rug or didn't find nothing, now the Astros, now it's different. The Astros won the World Series. Yankees fans mad, Dodgers fan mad, you know, about what happened. But for Carlos Beltran, he he might as well just retire. You know, if he got any ambitions on being a Hall of Famer, that may not happen. He might be in the Pete Rose uh, category. His, you know, somewhat his legacy kind of going to be tarnished. He may not get another job to be a, <laughs> a third base coach, a bench coach. He may have to go co coach Little League Baseball if they allow him to do that. So now this now several years, a few years later, now this tarnishing your legacy. You know, who knows? He might have spent out and, and been trashed with the Mets, and at least he would have been getting a check from the Mets after they fired him. Who knows? He might have been the next great manager for the Mets. He might have brought the, the Mets back to prominence. You know, who knows? But you're not going to get an opportunity for something he did in his past that, you know, pretty much cost him. But what if the Astros... You know, don't make the World Series. So does Alex Cora get a job, get the manager job with the with the uh, Red Sox? Do Beltran get an opportunity to go to the Mets? If they don't have that success, eh, you don't, you don't know. Would they won the World Series if they didn't do it? Most people say, eh, probably not. But, hey, it is what it is. I linked that article from ESPN in the description. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quest, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel, that link's in the description. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, Carlos Beltran stepping down as the New York Mets manager. I think it was the right thing to do because I, I know some punishment coming quick, fast, and hurry. One time for the one time. Good fellow Sports TV. Look forward to hearing your comments. We on. Um